Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Hunger Knocks. And today we're going to be making some mushroom bacon soup. Let's go ahead and check out our little prep here. But you can see our ingredients list coming up. Um, again, nothing crazy. Almost everything that we do, nothing's crazy. So just take a look at um, everything that you'll need. And obviously you can manipulate the recipe here and there if you want. But this is what you need watch me spill that oh yeah nice and some butter there what well, let's get started so we're gonna start off um, sauteing our bacon here we have our diced bacon and we're gonna try to get nice and crispy before we pull it out of the pan and naturally as soon as I start cooking my boy starts freaking out so he's going to pop in and out of this video because he needed some attention. But get our bacon going in our pan here. Looks like it's just about ready. Since I'm only one-handed, I'm just going to set that in the pan to pull the bacon out. But we'll leave a little bit in there, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and add our onions, our garlic, butter, and our mushrooms here. And we're just going to saute those up and get some nice color on there. Take a little little bit of time to get it looking good. We save part of our, our half of our butter from that. We're gonna use that butter to saute up the remaining mushrooms a little bit later on. So just notice that I didn't use all that butter right then. Uh, we'll bring out our other stock pot there and get that ready. I'm gonna line up our other butter in that big bowl. We're gonna heat it up 40 seconds in the microwave just to melt it down. While that's going, we're gonna add our beef stock, our water, and our heavy cream into our stock pot and start bringing that up. Once our butter is melted, we're going to add it to our flour. This is just like a really easy way to make a fast blonde roux. Um, so once the butter's hot, we'll just add our one-third cup flour into that and mix it all up. So it looks like our uh, mushrooms are getting pretty close there. So we're going to go ahead and deglaze the pan with our sherry. And then we're just gonna um, add our seasonings, mix everything up, and then we're gonna add that into our stock over there, or our bigger stock pot at least. Get that in there. And then we're gonna add that remaining butter that, from earlier, and we're gonna add the rest of our mushrooms into this pan and get those cooking. Those will just kind of turn over as we go. But as those are cooking, we're going to go ahead and um, start pulling liquid from our stock pot there. And we're going to mix it in with our roux over here. And we're just going to slowly add some in and continually whisk until we get our roux completely dissolved and mixed in with that uh, warm cream. So it's kind of a way to help ensure that when you do put this into your um, pot over there, that you're not going to have clumps and masses of butter and flour. So we make sure we get that nice and mixed. And once you feel good about it, it should, you should be fine. So that first mixture, all the mushrooms and this little bit of bacon and everything, we're just going to completely blend all that up. I'm using a blending stick here. You could use an actual blender or food processor, whatever you want. Um, once it's nice and mixed, we're going to add our um, little bit of roux and cream that we've already mixed up. And then we're going to add the mushrooms in after and we're going to bring it all up to a boil. I like big chunks of mushrooms I think it's kind of like almost like a vegetarian meat substitute but my wife Corey thought that it would have been better next time if those were chopped up and not so big so do whatever you want um, and you could change the ratios it could be I think we use one and a half pounds of mushrooms you could do half of it pureed and then the rest whatever you want when we add our little bacon in there and do the boy who just doesn't care about your life or anything we'll just shake him around a little <laughs> but 
we'll just bring that whole um, pot up to temp now, and then we'll do our final seasoning on it. Here he is. He just needed so much attention. Just not having it today. No breaks. Clean off a little grease there. And we're back, and we'll bring this back up to temp. Do that final seasoning I was talking about. And that's that's it. That's your your bacon mushroom cream soup. Mushroom bacon cream soup, whatever you want to call it. It's got a little homemade bread on the side I'm going to be eating with this. But you can garnish it. I'd like a little fresh cracked pepper. You can do parsley. You can switch this up too. You could add other ingredients. But enjoy.